Hey guys, it's Owen Wilson here again, and I just cannot express how excited I am to make this video. You can probably hear it in the tone of my voice of how absolutely amazingly loud I'm being right now, at practically screaming at you guys. Anyway, first thing I'd like to talk about is that we did reach a 200 subscriber special, um, and... As a thank you to all of you guys for subscribing to my channel and actually watching this content, I'm going to be giving you the video that a lot of you have been waiting for. And today, we are going to talk about, you guessed it, Lightning McQueen, aka me, and my adventures in Radiator Springs and on the racetrack. So, as per the regular formula, we are going to be going on the Wikipedia page and reading the brief synopsis just so I don't get any of my memories mixed up. So, without further ado. Cars is a 2006 American computer animated comedy adventure film. Wow, that that's a heck of a genre. I wonder how many movies fall under that category. Uh, produced by Pixar Animation Studios and released by Walt Disney Pictures. Directed and co-written by John Lasseter. It's Pixar's final independently produced motion picture before its purchase by Disney in May of 2006. Set in a world populated entirely by anthropomorphic cars and other vehicles, the film stars the voices of... Owen Wilson, wow, I wonder who that is, he sounds like a really neat guy. Paul Newman, in his final acting role. Bonnie Hunt, Larry the Cable Guy, Tony Shalob, Cheech Marin, Michael Wallace, George Carlin, Paul Dooley, Jennifer Lewis, Guido Caroni, Michael Keaton, Catherine Helmond, John Ratzenberger. That's a big cast of uh, main characters there. That's pretty amazing. Race car drivers Dale Earnhardt Jr., Mario Andretti, Michael Schumacher, and car enthusiast Jay Leno as Jay Limo. They voice themselves. Look how amazing you get all these famous car people in your actual car movie. It's like they're really there because they are really there. And I just thought that was great. Premiering on May 26, 2006 at Lowe's Motor Speedway in North Carolina, it was theatrically released on June 9th of 2006. To mostly positive reviews from critics, it was nominated for two Academy Awards, including Best Animated Feature and won the Golden Globe for Best Animated Feature Film. The film was released on DVD on November 7th, and on Blu-ray in 2007. Wow. I didn't know they had Blu-ray in 2007. That seems like a newer thing. I guess time kind of goes by when you're having fun winning a piston cup, I guess. So, by the way, I was talking with this car. His name was Doc Hudson. I thought he was just a regular old race car. Or actually, I just thought he was a regular car. Turns out, he was a race car. And he won two Piston Cups. Can you can you even imagine? Just wow. Anyway, I'll go down and read the plot. The last race of the Piston Cup Championship ends in a three-way tie between veteran Strip the King Weathers, infamous runner-up Chick Hicks, and rookie Lightning McQueen. ka -chow. The tiebreaker race is scheduled for one week later at the Los Angeles International Speedway in California. McQueen is desperate to win the race since it would not only make him the first rookie to win a championship, but also allow him to leave the unglamorous sponsorship of Rusty's, a bumper ointment company, to allow him to make the take the king's place as the sponsored car of the lucrative Dynaco team. Now, can 
you imagine that shiny new paint job on on this old red car for for rusties I mean those guys were really supportive and all but I'd rather be with the Dynaco team to be honest with you at the time I kind of preferred that anyway where was I let's see here eager to start practice in California as soon as possible he pushes his big rig Mac to travel all night long song reference right there don't know if you caught that it was kind of the theme song of the entire show so uh, life is a highway and I am gonna ride it all night long wow amazingly the wall Mac while McQueen is sleeping, I'm sorry, I am just all over the place today. Mac drifts off the course and is startled by a gang of four reckless street racers, causing McQueen to fall out the bank of the trailer onto the road. Wow, I, I remember that. That really hurt. You ever been thrown out of a car? Or that, or, I, well, I guess since we were all cars, it'd be like if someone dropped you on a piggyback ride, so I guess it wasn't that bad. McQueen wakes in the middle of traffic and speeds off the highway to find Mac, but ends up lost in the rundown desert town of Radiator Springs. Wow, I remember that. I mean, how can I forget? I keep saying I remember, but of course I remember. It was Radiator Springs. Where all my friends were. You know, we won the Piston Cup. It was pretty good. Anyway. While inadvertently ruining the pavement of its main road. Oh yes. I destroyed that down. Uh, well, the road. I dragged a little, uh, like a light pole into the ground. And, and I just completely unearthed it. After being arrested and impounded overnight while guarded by a rusty but friendly tow truck named Mater, McQueen is ordered by the town judge, Doc Hudson, to leave town immediately. The local lawyer, Sally Carrera, requests that McQueen should instead be given community service to repave the road, which Doc reluctantly agrees. McQueen tries to repave the road in a single day, but turns out to, to be shoddy, and he's forced to repave the road again, which takes several days to complete. During this time, he befriends several of the cars, and learns that Radiator Springs used to be a popular stop over along the old U.S. Route 66, but with the construction of Interstate 40 bypassing it, the town literally vanished from the map. McQueen also discovers that Doc is the fabulous Hudson Hornet. Oh yeah, wow. A three-time Piston Cup winner. Now, I remember I told you guys he won two uh, earlier here in the video, but uh, that was actually a surprise. He won the three whole Piston Cups. Can you imagine? His career racing ended after an accident in 1954, but he also did quickly get forgotten by the sport, unfortunately, for such a amazing character, you know. <clears throat> McQueen finishes repaving the road, which was invigorated the cars to improve their town. Uh, I'm sorry, which has invigorated the cars to improve their town and spends an extra day in Radiator Springs with his new friends before Mac and the media descend on the town led by a tip to McQueen's location. McQueen reluctantly leaves and the media get to California in time for the race. While Sally chastises Doc after discovering that she had tipped, or he had tipped off the media to McQueen's whereabouts, not wanting to be discovered by them. McQueen reluctantly leaves. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just reread that. Anyway, wow. That was phenomenal. I remember that time. We were just 
chilling out, enjoying the old music and stuff, and, and, uh, I think some music by the chords was playing, and all of a sudden a bright light just comes, and helicopters, and, and news media, and they just scooped me up, and, and led me on my way. So there I am, at the Los Angeles International Speedway. And McQueen's mind, or my mind, is not only set, is not fully set on the race, and he soon falls into last place. He's surprised to discover that Doug Hudson, who is decked out in his old racing colors, has taken over his new crew chief, along with several other friends from Radiator Springs to help in the pit. Inspired and recalling tricks he learned from Doc and his friends, McQueen quickly emerges to lead the race to the final laps. But at the last minute, Hicks, refusing to come behind Withers again, sideswipes Wizard and sends him into a dangerous spin, causing him to crash. Uh, I know a lot of you are, could be supporters of the thunder shake and you're out there just going kachiga kachiga and i'm like that's okay you can believe what you want to believe but um personally i just don't think he's a really nice guy you know like if i'm over here just minding my own business trying to win a race and you just make me crash a car just i don't i don't think that's a really nice thing to do you know but but the ending here is phenomenal. Get, get, look at this, okay? So, Lightning m recalls Doc Hudson's fate, and McQueen stops just short of the finish line, allowing Hicks to win. That's right. I let him win, because I figured it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it just doesn't matter who really wins the Piston Cup, because... I had to go help that guy. So, he, I drove back to push Weathers over the finish line, and the crowd condemns Hicks' victory, but are nonetheless impressed with McQueen's sportsmanship. Though offered the Dynaco sponsorship deal, McQueen declines, insisting on staying with Rusty's as an appreciation for their past support. Back at Radiator Springs, McQueen returns and announces that He'll be setting up his headquarters there, helping to put Radiator Springs back on the map. And what a great story, you know? It's, and all the cars are like real cars, so it's just a really immersive kind of movie, you know? You feel like you're really there. And you visit some of these spots in, in Western America, and you find these little radiator springs towns where people got all their old cars and it really is it's just a nice little uh it was a nice story and it was a really good a fun movie i tell you that it was a fun movie but uh when i won that piston cup well actually i didn't win the piston cup I, it was kind of given to me second hand because nobody liked uh nobody liked hicks that defining moment in my life was just really, really cool. I just really felt like I had some, some sort of substance to myself, you know? Like, uh, as Doc once said, it's just an empty cup, and, and it really it is, but it's also a symbol of what you had to go through, you know, practice and all that. So, in my heart, I won the Piston Cup, and even though I didn't get it originally, and that's only because I won in my heart, and that's all that matters, because I had my friends there, and my family there for me, to help me, and, uh, sure, one of them was a professional racing legend, but, and that certainly does help, but, anyway. Again, I want to thank you guys for just being absolutely amazing and giving me feedback and keeping the support positive. I cannot believe we made it to 200 subscribers. That, that's amazing. 
I think we're almost up there with the, the other ASM artists, and, um, yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough, so, I hope you enjoyed finally me talking about, uh, getting into cars and how I won the Piston Cup, and thank you again for listening, I hope it was nice and enjoyable for you, so, as always, and until next time. Ciao.